Hey, what's going on, brother? Not much, either, brother. How are you living? How are you living? Same as always. It's cool. It's cool. So, how's the woman? Gone. What? Yeah, she uh, went to a medical school out in California. Sorry, brother. I don't really know what to tell you. You know all of the girls I've been with. <laughs> You've been with them too, except for uh, Cheryl McGovern, which was a huge mistake on your part, brother. Oh, I'm sure. That's why only one of us has herpes. Some shows are worth the price of admission, partner. Ugh. So, when are you done with those meetings? About a week after I'm 21. They hooking you up with a job? Yep. I'm gonna sit there and do some long division for the next 50 years. But it's better than this shit. At least you'd be making some nice bank. Yeah, and be a fucking lab rat. It's a way out of here. Dude, what do I want a way out of here for? I want to live here for the rest of my life. I want to be your next door neighbor. I want to take our kids up to Folly Field for Little League together. Look, you're my best friend, so don't take this the wrong way. But if in 20 years, you're living next door to me, coming over my house, watching the fucking Patriots game, and you're still working here? I'll fucking kill you. That ain't a threat. That's a promise. I'll fucking kill you. Chucky, what are you talking about? Look, you got something that no one else here has. Why is it always this? Like I'm supposed to owe it to myself? What if I don't want to? Fuck you. You owe it to me. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow, and I'm gonna be 50. And I'll still be doing this. And that's all right, because I'm gonna make a run at it. But you. You're sitting on a winning lottery ticket, and you're too much of a fucking pussy to cash it in. And that's bullshit, because I would do anything to have what you got. And so would anyone else who's working here. It'll be a fucking insult to us if you're still working here in 20 years. Chucky, you don't know that. Let me tell you what I do know. Every day, I come by your house and pick you up. We go out drinking or whatever. You know what the best part of my day is? It's the 10 seconds before I knock on your door. Because I sit there and I let myself think that I might get there and you'd be gone. I'd knock on the door, you wouldn't be there. You just left. Now, I don't know much. I know that.